I'm Joe Duffy, CEO of OffshoreInsiders.com. Are there trap games in betting? Well, I got the answer for you, no, but yet there is ton to learn from the lines in games that a lot of people think are trap games. Seems like the odds makers are baiting you to bet them. I hear that all the time. I mean, I've been hearing that, you know, for the last, I don't know, well, certainly for the three and a half decades that I've been a professional handicapper and certainly uh, before that as well. But they are not. The bookmakers will never intentionally set a line based on trying to get you to bet a side. I promise you that has never happened, will never happen. They're not that sophisticated, and in fact, they couldn't do it because sharps like me would totally destroy them. However, there is always knowledge to gain by lines in these games that look like trap games. Now, what are some examples of where I hear people uh, really quote that? myth, that urban legend? Well, here are just a few. For example, in college football, when the odds makers tell you that a lower ranked team is the better team, bet them. An example would be lower ranked away teams not getting at least three points are a stunning 12 and two straight up and against the spread since 2015. Now, why the three points? Remember, home field advantage is worth three points. So if you have two evenly matched teams, the home team is going to be laying three points. So if a lower ranked team is not getting at least three points, the odds makers are telling you that the lower ranked team is the better team. You know, the square figures of a team is higher ranked, they are better, right? And that is an example where they might say, this just seems like a trap. The odds makers are just baiting you. Always remember, odds are lead indicators. The records are lag indicators. The uh, records and the rankings are based on what a team has done to date, but the odds are projections of how a team is going to perform. And when you put the lead indicators against the lag indicators, the lead indicators are going to win all of the time. I've also seen, for example, NFL favorites that have four less wins than their opponent. Wait a minute. Grossly inferior record? And they're a favorite, you got to bet, bet against them. It's a trap game. You got to bet on the underdog. The underdog's better, right? Well, favorites, despite four fewer wins or more, are 40 and 22 against the spread in that so called trap situation. And an even more impressive 44 and 21 straight up. How about an NBA away favorite? despite having a worse record. How possibly, I mean, how possibly can a team be laying points on the road when they are the worst team, at least according to the straight-up record? And of course, the logic would be, how can you not bet the better team as the home underdog? Well, way favorites in said situations, 314, 235, and 7 for 57%. The bigger the favorite, the winning percentage goes up. Really, the more emphatic the statement, uh, the more counterintuitive the line would be relative to the records, the more you actually bet on the counterintuitive side. So if you find yourself, or maybe your buddy says this seems like a trap game, well, listen to what he or she is saying but don't bet on this, the uh, side that he or she is convinced they are baiting you to bet. Bet on the other side. Well, you get wisdom like that and a whole lot more from Joe Duffy's Picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. Vet it, sportsbooks, and more. Master Lockline, Stevie Vincent, Joe Duffy's Picks, and of course, Late Info. OffshoreInsiders.com.